Alright guys, so finally, 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 we have Dokkan Battlefield coming to Global Dokkan. Uh, I was confident that it was going to be coming to Global the whole time. I thought it was going to drop with Evolution Blue Vegeta, but uh, they did decide to move up Android 17 and Android 21s uh, up above, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta before he comes out. But Dokkan Battlefield will be coming to Global officially on the 16th of October. Now, this is really good for one main reason. Uh, this LR Physical Ginyu Forest right here, which came out on JP uh, at the start of 2017. This came out, what, February 2017? This physical LR Ginyu Forest came out. Uh, Global will finally be getting him. Uh, you guys will be able to use, uh, you know, the Battlefield medals uh, to purchase this guy and get all the medals to awaken him. Now... He is, oh, the Guinea Force unit, they're okay. Uh, even this JP version, they're just, they're okay. I could see uh, them maybe getting a slight buff for the global release, uh, just to make them a little bit more usable. Uh, but even if they don't get a buff, they are still uh, kind of valuable for a villain team, uh, or like the Ginyu Force team, uh, they could be pretty useful. Even the Planet Namek arc team, honestly, uh, if that ever got a proper leader, uh, this Ginyu Force could be a very solid leader over there. So, uh, don't really have a problem with that. But this is going to be cool. Now, uh, the physical LR Ginyu Force will finally be coming to Global. Now, there is one other LR that eventually will be coming to Global as part of Dokkan Battlefield. The LR Metal Cooler uh, Squadron here. Now... It, it probably will be like four or five months before this drops. Because uh, it was, you know, four or five battlefields, I want to say, before they uh, first released LR Metal Cooler. But this guy, I think, is the best free-to-play unit in the game. Uh, if you do have him at 100%, I think he would be superior to LR Vegito Blue. The only thing is it's incredibly difficult to rainbow this guy, whereas LR Vegito Blue, it's incredibly easy to rainbow him, you know, you only have to just get those Patara, uh, or not the Patara, but the little, uh, like, Supreme Kai treasures from the story mode, very, very simple to get all of his dupes, but for the LR Metal Cooler squad, you have to be doing Battlefield constantly, and, you know, unless you're a Mega Uber Whale, uh, some of those stages are going to be a little difficult to complete uh, towards the end, especially once Global starts running out the Zamasu boss that heals like crazy. You know, it, it can lead to some issues, so uh, that will be a thing that happens. Now, uh, moving back over here, uh, there is a full sort of celebration here on Global. Uh, the Dragon Ball Fighters crossover special campaign. It's not surprising, really. That they did decide to drop this right now. Because 17 did just come out uh, on Fighters. So it makes sense, right? Like, think about it. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, 17 is out on Fighters. Now 17 is out on Dokkan. It, it's it's very smart. Like, really, I, I feel like I, I should have been able to predict this. But, oh, well. Uh, and then, of course, Android 21 uh, is now officially out. Actually, I, I mean, at this time, 321, uh, the banner is already live. So there's a login bonus. There's missions, you know, like we have for every celebration. There is a sale. Now, what's really strange about this is the sale uh, actually went live after the banner. Very, very bizarre. Uh, but here's the banner. And then, of course, here is the sale. Uh, the banner, of course, being this one right here. Uh, it's a pretty good banner. I would say if you're a free-to-play player and you wanted to summon on this one, go ahead because the units are pretty good. Wow, it didn't really... It didn't, like, show all of the units. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every once in a while, uh, for new banners on DBZ Space, it will do that occasionally. Uh, the banner is the same as the JP one. So, let me just bring up the JP banner real quick so we can take a look at all of the units on there. But again, um... If, if you're a free-to-play player and you want to summon on this banner, I would say go ahead. Because, you know, of all the featured units, they're all pretty usable. You know, I'm not a big fan of Tapion, but he is a very good defensive uh, unit for the hard modes. Uh, SCR Cell is still solid. Super 17 is solid. Uh, right now on Global Tech Cell, he's only solid as well. Uh, he'll become 
pretty much the second best unit on this banner, though, uh, after his EZA, but, you know, that might still be a month or two away on Global. Uh, of course, 17 is a tremendously powerful unit. Uh, he's, I would argue, one of the best units in the game. He just does so much. He's so good for LR, Goku, and Frieza. Uh, his leader skill is amazing. The HP and attack, 170% for the Android category. He lowers attack and defense on his super attack, ideal for LR, Goku, and Frieza. He gets a 120% buff when performing a super attack. He gives all allies three key and defense 60%. And he reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 77% or below. He's got pretty good links for the teams that he is on. And of course, he's on the Android, Universal Survival Arc, and Representatives Universe 7 uh, Saga. So, this Android 17 is really quite a very powerful unit. Uh, it is pretty easy to farm up a super attack. Of course, there's a million SR Android 17 cards you can use, uh, as well as the Android 17 from the Universal Survival Arc Sewer event, which was just live. So, you know, if you pull this guy, that's fantastic. He is incredible. If you have LR, Goku, and Frieza, this guy will make them a lot better. I saw a lot of people on Global were actually saying they thought that the LR was a little underwhelming. And I think the absence of Android 17, Blue, Vegeta, and certain other units uh, probably contributed to that. Because 17 makes it very easy for the LR to... Uh, dominates, basically. Um, 21 is also out. 21 is pretty solid. Uh, th that's pretty much about it. I would say she's solid. She may be the best unit uh, you could pull unfeatured from the banner, though. Uh, she is an Android category leader, 150% across the board. Uh, she recovers HP on super attacking. She has 90% attack and defense and gives herself three key at the start of turn, which is pretty good. So it's always pretty easy for her to super attack. And then she transforms if your HP is 50% or above. She has a 30% chance to transform after the fourth start, uh, fourth turn of the fight. And then from there, key three, 130% attack and defense. And she recovers 13% HP at the start of turn. Uh, she does become... Pretty damn good. Uh, I would say who is the best like unit you could pull unfeatured from banners moving forward? It's probably between this Android 21 and Kefla. Uh, I'm sure people will probably put Kefla as better because uh, the Pitar like people love are obsessed with the Patara team. The Android category team is really good, but you know for global. Uh, Global still needs for Tech Cell to get his EZA. They still need for LR Cell to come out. And then also, like, the future Androids to get their Awakenings. All useful units uh, on the category. But regardless, I, I would say 21 is within the top three uh, best units you'll be able to pull unfeatured from banners uh, moving forward. So do keep that in mind. Uh, all right, so moving on. We have an Android category banner. I always tell you guys, never, ever, 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 ever summon on this banner. Because these banners are a guaranteed featured unit. The 10th card is always a guaranteed SSR. On an LR banner, a double rates banner, or a type banner, you have a 95% chance of pulling an unfeatured unit there. Which many times will end up being one of the LRs. One of the really powerful LRs, right? But on these banners right here, these category banners... It's a guaranteed featured unit. So you're only going to pull a featured unit. You have zero chance of getting an LR from that GSSR spot because, you know, there's no featured LRs or anything on these banners. So you are wasting stones if you put stones into this Android category banner. Uh, we have this Dragon Ball Fighter story event, which is live. You can farm uh, this Android 21 right here, which still kind of awakens into an int Android 21. A free-to-play unit who is a very good support type unit for the Android category team. Uh, I actually did rainbow her on my account. I really do like that unit. Uh, 17's Dokkan event goes up. Uh, pretty underwhelming Dokkan event. He does pop his barrier at one, in one stage, but he doesn't heal from it. He just blocks uh, beam attacks. The Tech Bulma event did return, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Goku and Friends uh, like movie special thing is back uh, where you can farm up the Tarble. Uh, the training in the clouds gets a bit of a renewal. Now, this, I think all this does is it makes it more common for uh, the special bosses to appear. Like, if you guys remember, uh, you could fight either Popo, uh, Kid Goku, or Piccolo. Now, it makes it so that uh, Kid Goku and Piccolo 
uh, show up more often for uh, experience. This is a good stage for newer players, but after you've been playing a while, I, I don't really think you really need to run that stage too much. Uh, so on the 8th, uh, Full Power Frieza gets his Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, there is also going to be uh, like Pilaf's Trove tickets and stuff and like a ticket banner for it. This EZA is incredibly easy because uh, it's the Planet Namek arc that Frieza is weak to and Super SCR units. So you can easily use like a Super Saiyan 4 Goku SCR team with uh, the Kid Gohan, which everyone should have because it just came back in September. Uh, and then you'll easily be able to beat this. And especially uh, this banner will go up. I, I presume it'll be the same on Global. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Full Power Frieza, and then Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, of course, is an amazing unit here. Uh, I, you know, I would recommend, you know, boom, run a Super STR team. You know, get like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Uh, you know, get Kid Gohan. You're going to be able to walk through this uh, easy 8 very, very quickly. Uh, this Frieza one is not really difficult whatsoever. Uh, this Full Power Frieza, he does get a pretty good buff. He becomes uh, quite good. After his EZA. Uh, he's on a few categories. I'm going to be very curious to see how he works on Super Boo's category. That's that's, that's a big thing I want to see. Uh, we also have the Raditz event coming back. Now what's interesting is. For Global. Okay on JP. They made it so that the Raditz event. Comes back with the Bulma support item events. Uh, so that like every. Like when this event comes back on JP. Uh, we know that a world tournament is coming up. Like, they always put it up near a world tournament so people can farm him for the world tournament, right? But on Global, uh, they don't appear to have done that yet because there is no indication of a world tournament coming here on Global. I actually did expect a world tournament on Global, but uh, in this, you know, kind of celebration info, there is nothing about it. Of course, we have Dokkan Battlefield coming on the 16th. That's going to be very hype. Uh, the, you know, uh, other world, like, challengers, you know, uh, Kaioken Goku and PyCon event is returning on the 16th. Uh, the BoJack story event is returning on the 18th. People always ask me when this event is going to come back because they pull LR BoJack but can't awaken him. But, like, you don't have to wait for this event. You could just farm the hero and villain, uh, event on the weekends. And you can get all of the medals you need for LR BoJack there. Uh, then, of course, we have the SCR type banner coming on the 18th. Uh, if you are looking for LR Broly or LR Beerus, uh, this is probably the spot for you. You know, I wouldn't recommend all players do this, but, you know, if specifically you're hunting for LR Beerus, this is your best chance to get him right here. Uh, this is the best spot to get him because there's, uh, you know, a, a small amount of unfeatured SSRs. Uh, every multi gives you one of those unfeatured SSRs pretty much, so... It's a very good spot to try and get those LRs. Uh, and then down here, rank EXP is doubled. <laughs> okay. We did just have the month of four times rank EXP. But there we go, guys. There is the global celebration. Pretty hype shit because you guys finally get Dokkan Battlefield, which is a pretty fun mode. Uh, so make sure you have you know all of your UR cards ready. Remember, only UR cards or above uh, can participate in Dokkan Battlefield. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch y'all next time.